you watching this, it, it means that we make it the next pass. Yeah, so. <laughs> we are Georgia and Diego, and this is our home, Unforgettable. For the past five years, we've been sailing the planet. Our challenge now is to continue the adventure as our family grows. Subscribe and join our life at sea. On the run already! Yeah, very successful pit stop in Papete Marina for a couple of days. We got our friend and now we're ready to show him Morea and show him a great time. It's 6 in the morning, we are leaving to Morea. Good morning, Luigi. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> what's the forecast? What do you mean it's what's the forecast? It's Tahiti, of course it's, it's blue skies, sunny days and just like great atmosphere, coconut all over the place, happiness and love. Hopefully some wind also? Yeah, some wind to sail, that's important, it's a sailboat after all. But yeah, it's good, it's good. It's, uh, the swell is low and the wind is uh, good enough. Like 15, 20 knots? Oh, not even, yeah, between 10 and 15, so light. So there'll be a smooth passage. Someone here is ready and excited to go. Say you again. Uh -huh. Good morning, little Isla. Good morning. Are you excited to go to Morea? The ferry is always coming high speed. Makes a loop. Yeah. We move more than uh, when we are sailing actually. And in the marina, all the boats move and the mast gets close to each other. Ah! Ah! How good is the baby? And yeah. Ah! I think last wave. Okay. <laughs> See if the uh, gods from the sea favor us today. We drop the fishing line and you know why? Since we left it, I'm not hoping to catch anything, but if I don't try, right? Yeah, what's the name of this lure? Does she have a name? Uh, no. That's not a good sign. We need a name. Isla, we need a name. What do you think, Lee? Tuna killer. Tuna killer. Tuna killer. <laughs> 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 Once we used to use a pop star name, but I like Tuna killer.
Luigi, mi sei lì, Luigi? Yeah. <laughs> like you don't really know that you miss so much and you get to sail again. And then you see that you're missing a lot. Happy crew, happy captain. Everybody's having a great time on board. And this is the kind of sailing that you don't want to end. You just want to keep going because it just feels so good. It's yeah. It's good. That was a pleasant sail. I really enjoy it. Smooth, sunny day, beautiful, beautiful. And now we are arriving to Opunohu Bay once again, because we're still gonna try to swim with the whales a few more times, and we're gonna show this amazing place to Luigi. There's like some sharks and rays to swim with, trails, hikings. So I think we're gonna have a lot of adventure in the next days. fish well we see that coming right yeah we are really low on like lures and we don't have a fishing rod anymore yeah we were counting with pure luck not this time not this time perfect sunday morning and what what are you going to do i have to fill or change our propane bottle because my very wise wife advised me against it doing it yesterday we were in tahiti we're very easy and say oh we're gonna change our propane bottle no 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 don't worry do that some other time there's plenty propane left and last night during well you, you're you're putting it a bit too much i didn't say all like that but okay <laughs> yeah we have to actually this is cinema but uh, yeah uh, so now i have to cinema. drive drive the dinghy 15 minutes that way and come back but it's a nice ride and it'll be cool to show Luigi. I'm not bothered at all. I'm yeah. just a bit bothered about uh, the dinner that uh, it ruined a bit. We can try to finish cooking the the cheese breads today, but I'm not sure if it's gonna like work. Yeah, we can only hope. <laughs> so this is our propane compartment. It fits two bottles here. These bottles are made of fiberglass and plastic and they don't get rust very good for the boat i'm thinking about keeping it once we left french polynesia and it's very light oh and summer is coming i can feel it yeah it's 7 a.m <laughs> and i'm roasting yeah okay go for it go. we want coffee it was worth to get the propane this morning because we have breakfast yeah I'm talking quite low because it is sleepy and yeah I think our cheese breads from last night cooking okay. is it good Isla? what is are you trying? What are you trying? Try mandarin for the first time and uh, I think she's stoked. She's having a blast. <laughs> yeah. It's mandarin all over. Yes, all over the place. It's love. Oh, mandarin, so good, so good mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> I think she wants more. What you have here, Isla? Look, look. Mandarin, here is Mandarin. Yeah. Hey, what's here, Isla? 
Today Luigi and I came outside to try to spot some whales. Diego is taking care of Isla. We haven't had any luck so far, but the day is beautiful. No wind at all. Luigi is having a goal on uh, riding the dinghy. Yeah, riding the dinghy in the open Pacific Ocean. So I'm trusting my life to Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit scary to be outside, like, but we are not far from land, so that's okay. And yeah, we'll keep an eye, see if we find anything. Unforgettable is right there. I'm not sure you can see, guys. But Diego is there with Isla and we came out of the pass and we've been riding the dinghy all the way. But look how glassy it is. If you're watching this, it, it means that we make it the, the next pass in there. So. <laughs> <laughs> but check coming up. <laughs> How was it? <sighs> nice, it's uh, the visibility is perfect. <sighs> we saw like a turtle, a shark, a few barracudas. Well, that's Luigi, so I didn't. <sighs> but it was good. And now we're waiting for the whales. At least we are not going back like empty hands. <laughs> At least we snorkeled, we did something. Cool. We spent some time here outside and we didn't see any whales but we came for a dive here on these mooring balls. They're right outside the pass. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, they're just diving uh, balls, diving moorings. So yeah, we free dive here. Actually Luigi free dive. I tried but I'm really rusty. I need to get, I need to practice more. We're gonna practice on this next day. Yeah, George is gonna teach me the arts of sailing. I'm gonna teach the arts of free dive. Yes, Let's exactly. Go. We're gonna exchange <laughs> uh, skills. And yeah, but it was worth nice. The water is good. Beautiful day. Should we check on Isla and Diego now? Yeah, or should we go dive again? <laughs> <laughs> Today I'm preparing our favorite dish in French Polynesia to introduce to Luigi's. It's poisson cru au lait de coco. Sorry, I, I love your French. How, can you say it again? That's poisson cru, poisson cru au lait de coco. Ah, okay. Better. It's a raw tuna, raw fish with uh, coconut milk. It's a local dish here and it's very popular and we love it so I'm gonna show you how to do it but it's also the recipe is in our cookbook you can download it's a free cookbook the link is in the description below so let's get to it 
Here I have the tuna. I already chop it in small portions and I soak it in water with salt, salt water. I'm gonna leave here for a while and we're gonna need tomatoes, cucumber, carrot, lime and coconut milk. Here we have fresh coconut milk that's really good but if you don't have you can just use the regular canned one. We have an issue because last time I did it, it was really good and now the expectations are too high so I'm a little nervous, I'm not sure I'm gonna make as good as before but I'll do my best. Time Hoya, don't crack under pressure. And <laughs> I only have one lime, I really could use two but I already have an excuse if it's not that good. <laughs> no lime is enough. <laughs> All the vegetables are chopped. I also add an onion that I forgot to tell you. And now I'm gonna drain the fish. I squeeze lime juice. I only had one lime, but maybe two would be uh, good also. I squeeze the juice, leave for like one or two minutes, and then I drain it. You cannot leave too long, otherwise it will cook the fish. So it's just to give a little cooking. Okay, little. Mm, this one is juicy. And voila! Now you serve with rice and bread and it's nice to eat straight away otherwise the tuna keeps cooking with the lime so as soon as you eat the better. Let's get straight to it! You see we are recording and there is no baby noise in the background. That's because we have crew now and Isla is having some fun with our good buddy Luigi. How good is that Georgia? Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> we can focus on making amazing food and I can focus on filming you doing amazing food. Yeah, exactly. I love it. Cheers to that. Boys are going for a hike. I'm going to the beach with Isla. Just got fruits for the boat. Just got a few fruits, yeah. Oh, good. Thank you, Luigi. Okay, have a nice one. And six, 6 p.m. I come back for you guys. Okay, thank you. Enjoy it. Bye. Yes. Don't fall, don't fall. Good. <laughs> See you soon. The girls are going to the beach. Yay. Do you want to go to the beach, Isla? Yeah, I think she does. Good. Luigi just found a tamarind tree. Really, it's like full of tamarind. Never seen like that before. Delicious. It's good. It's a uh, bit sour, but yeah, it's very good. Like those sweets, sweet and sour sweets. Natural. What's up, Diego? We are. 20 minutes up a hill and yeah first break cannot really see the view from here but i can tell it's very nice <laughs> so and now is the final final approach summit attack it's getting close Right there, 
That's uh, 35 minutes uphill. Whew. Nearly there, buddy, nearly there. It's a beautiful afternoon. Isla and I are walking by the beach. She likes it, don't you? The sound of the water in our feet. My feet, actually. Hers are floating. <laughs> yes, it's always nice to come here. This is a prize. How hard was the, the hike, Luigi? I can tell it was actually a little bit harder than I expected. I was expecting easier, but it was pretty steep in the end. Uh, definitely not an easy hike, but not impossible as well. So just have to be a little bit uh, fit, a little bit, and uh, you really want to come to the top, <laughs> and you're gonna get here. Very easy to find the trail, no drummers, very well marked, and the view is like, uh, well, talks by itself. There's an airplane there, and it's nice that it's way, way lower than we are. And it's time to say goodbye. We're going to start climbing down, sadly. We almost lost the deadline for the commute boat to get <laughs> back. We are already thinking about uh, swimming back to the boat, but there comes Georgia. Last minute. <laughs> Last minute. Of course, got lost. On the way back, so it <laughs> around 20 minutes and then the sun went down. And here we are. Help! Help! Here! Here! <laughs>